Hi everyone, it's Julie and welcome back to my story time. I have another new book to share with you today. It's entitled The Foodie Flamingo. And this book is written by Vanessa Howell and it's illustrated by Pablo Pino. Now, I chose this book because this coming weekend on Saturday, November 6th and Sunday, November 7th, we are having our ultimate Thanksgiving sharing showdown. What does that mean? That means that we are going to fill up our food truck to deliver to the CCSC Christian Community Center uh, food bank and they need our help and so we are having a great way to decide what our favorite Thanksgiving foods are while we come and share all the food that we can with people who are in need. So bring your food either during the food drive Saturday morning or during Sunday school on Sunday and you'll get to vote for your favorite Thanksgiving food, whether that's mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, turkey, dinner rolls, or dessert. You get to pick and we'll see who the winner is. But guess what? We're all winners because when we help and serve and share what we have with others, it's a beautiful way that we can share God's love. But for now, let's read about the foodie flamingo. Every Friday at the Pink Flamingo restaurant, Frankie Flamingo met up with her friends. Frederick, Felicia, and Steve. And every Friday, they each ordered the same dishes. Frederick ordered braised shrimp, Felicia ordered boiled shrimp, Steve ordered buttered shrimp, and Frankie ordered shrimp bisque. You think that flamingos like to eat shrimp? I think so. But one Friday, Frankie learned the word foodie, which means someone who thinks of every new meal as an adventure. Do you think as new food as an adventure? We can be foodies too. So when it was her turn to order, she asked a question. Do you have anything without shrimp? Her friend's feathers ruffled. Steve even gasped. But we like shrimp, said Frederick. It gives us our lovely pink color, said Felicia. What if you try something new and hate it, said Steve. It could ruin dinner. Hmm. So they don't think it's a good idea. The server right here looked stern. So Frankie ordered stew and kept her foodie feelings to herself. But the next day, Frankie went to the market and bought a big bag of Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Brussels sprouts aren't pink, are they? <laughs> she spent each night that week blanching, boiling, and baking the Brussels sprouts in new ways. Some bowls were better than others, but trying them made her feel better, braver, and... What do you think it comes after the end? Different than before. Beaks turned when Frankie studded, strutted into the pink flamingo. Are you all right? asked Frederick. You look a little green, said Felicia. Steve just stared. Frankie said, I'm great, and grinned through dinner. Hmm. 
Each Friday dinner after that, Frankie blustered her friends. One week, she flew in with her feathers a yeasty yellow. The next week, she was berry blue. Did you know that flamingos change color based on what they eat? I think that's what they're teaching us here, right? Finally, after her, after she flounced away, purple as a plum, her friends stayed at the table, trying to solve the mystery. If shrimp turns us pink, Frederick said, maybe Frankie's eating something else, finished Felicia. But how do we know for sure? Frankie's friend sneaked to her house and spied through her window. Sure enough, they saw her taking the tops off tomatoes and turning them into sauce and salsa. Then they formed a scheme of their own. The next week, Frankie's friends got together to try her tomato techniques. They chopped and chilled. They steamed and sauteed. They took turns taking tentative tastes. It was savory and spicy. It was smooth and sweet. Some of them liked it. Some of them didn't. But the sauces and salsas made all of them feel like they had flown somewhere new. Ooh, I think they're liking this adventure. That Friday, when Frankie arrived at the restaurant, it was her turn to be surprised. The server loved their color. The chef asked for their secrets. Frankie said, we're all foodies. Now Frankie cooks for her friends at the restaurant. She is happy as a hornbill, crafting meals of every color. Flamingos flock there for its flavors and fun, its aromas and adventures. It even has a new name. Do you see that? What do you think that name says? The Rainbow Flamingo. How to be a foodie. I think it'd be fun to be a foodie. Do you like to try new foods? Well, let's see what it says on how we can each be a foodie. How to be a foodie by Frankie Flamingo. Try a food you've never tasted before. Can we do that? Yeah, we can do that. Cook a meal with a friend or parent. Ooh, I can do that, can you? Yeah. That would be fun. Take a food you already like and sprinkle something new on top, like a spice or an herb. Ooh, now that would be fun to have us see a little bit different taste on something we like. The next one, close your eyes. Take a sniff of your dinner and describe the smell in three words. Then take a bite and describe the taste in three words. Ooh, that's interesting to see how that what we smell might impact what we taste. I love that idea. Treat your food like an art project. Place it on your plate in a new creative way before you eat. 
So that means when you're setting, when if you help cook or help prepare the meal or you're just helping serve it on a plate, you put it on there in an artistic way. It doesn't mean we play with our food. It just means we present it on the plate in a really fun new way that makes it look beautiful and different. And then spread the word. Tell your friends about foods that are different and delicious. Happy adventuring. That is how we can be a foodie. I love to try new foods. I didn't always like to, but then once I started doing it, I loved exploring and going on those adventures. And I know people love that too. And we just all love having food. So I hope you'll remember to bring food for Thanksgiving sharing next either Saturday morning from 9 to 12 or during Sunday school hour on Sunday. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.